I'm Pranati Candy, staff photographer. And I'm Sally Panamboto, executive sports editor and currently wearing pajama pants. Welcome sports fans to the 2020 Sidekick Olympic Pet Show. This year we have seven competitors all fighting for the pet throne. Our first contestant is a hedgehog. Although she is female, she alternates between two names, these being Luna and Benedict. Let's see what she has to offer. Right off the bat, we have a gorgeous color scheme, a very nice brown, nice beige, beautiful. You know that on average, a hedgehog has three to 5,000 quills covering its back? Oh, well, it's very nice grass nuzzling skills. I think that was an excellent entry, very nice. Well, Sally, you could say that she was looking pretty sharp. Ha <laughs> ha, yes I can, Pranati. Our next competitor is a furry friend, a one-year-old female dog named Maple. Though Maple is a new part of the Bayar family, she has brought a lot of joy into their lives. Bright and energetic right from the start. Oh, you can see she is one with nature. Gorgeous dog, man. Look at that. Maple. Mopley. Not Maple? Before we move on, I would like to formally issue an apology for the mispronunciation of Mopley. It is not indeed Maple, but Mopley. I'm sorry very much for this spread of misinformation. Thank you, Sally. Our next contestant is Ronnie, a female, female dog who is the pride and joy of staff writer Avani Kasha. Very touching. Phenomenal music choice, if I say so myself. I agree, Pranati. Our next competitor is Ollie, a nine-year-old male dog who lives in the Vanyo household, which is also sometimes occupied by chickens, other dogs, and other cats. Let's see what he has to offer. The speed, the height, the absolute fluffiness of Ollie puts him as a top competitor. What's next, Pranati? Well, Sally, up next is Jack, a sneezy 10-year-old male dog. Have you seen a happier dog or a waggier tail? Pranati, you know I haven't. For our final competitor in the line of dogs, we have an 11-year-old miniature poodle named Sparky. Sit. Wow, that was great. For our last competitor, we have a feathery friend, a Goffin cockatoo who's 40 years old, named Moses. According to his owner, Sidney Rowe, he's a bit of a troublemaker, knows how to get out of his cage, and often looks at himself in the mirror. 40 years old. That's older than both of us combined. Yes, it is, Pranati. Let's see what he has to show. Uh -oh. Can get it for you? Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Sally and Pranati back in D-115, or, uh, the closest thing to D-115 we can be in. Well, Sally, that was a mighty large selection of very talented contenders. Alas, there can only be one winner of the gold medal. Let's begin by honoring our runner-ups. Taking home the bronze medal tonight is Ollie. With his unparalleled frisbee skills, he was definitely a prominent contender. And with our silver medal, we have Ronnie. With her wide medley of skills ranging from sitting to rolling over to playing fetch, she is absolutely an unstoppable force. Drum roll, please. And for the moment we've all been waiting for, 
The winner of this year's gold medal is Moses. With his unparalleled strut and his bell ringing skills, he was obviously the winner of this year's Sidekick Olympics. And that concludes the Petro portion of this year's Sidekick Olympics. Stay tuned for more fun events. And once again, this is Sally and Pernati from the Sidekick signing off.